Welcome to the Psychographic Show. Today we're gonna take a look at a guide to the Earth's timeline. The Earth, just like anything else, has a beginning with the Hadean Eon. This time period began with the coalescing of Earth. Scientists believe that the Earth was bombarded by comets and other foreign objects which led to the formation of our moon and the presence of water on our planet. The Archean Eon The climate on Earth became more stable in Archean Eon. Instead of a molten state, the Earth started to cool down. Water vapor condensed to form oceans. As the Earth cooled down, a new form of life began to prosper, cyanobacteria. When oxygen was absent in the atmosphere, cyanobacteria could convert sunlight into energy. In shallow water, they metabolized their own food. As a waste product, cyanobacteria released oxygen into the oceans. The Proterozoic Eon In this period, the Earth had an oxygenated atmosphere for new life to flourish. But it wasn't cyanobacteria flourishing. Because oxygen was toxic for cyanobacteria, they poisoned all anaerobic life on Earth, including themselves. Imagine a dominant species polluting the planet until extinction. The oxygen byproduct from cyanobacteria created an oxygen crisis on the Earth. When the oxygen combined with methane, it produced carbon dioxide. All of a sudden, the greenhouse effect wasn't as strong. As a result, the whole planet froze. It was snowball Earth as Earth went into an ice age for the next 300 million years. Multicellular organisms became apparent in this eon. As oxygen filled the atmosphere, Earth's ozone layer thickened. Before the presence of an ozone layer, life was restricted to shallow water. Because water shielded harmful radiation, that's where life existed. Eventually, a thicker ozone layer enabled life to diversify on land. The Paleozoic Era The Cambrian explosion was the largest diversification of life in Earth's history. Everything before this era was pre-Cambrian. We couldn't identify life because we didn't have fossilized shells or animals. This is when hard-shelled invertebrates originated in the oceans. Next came the age of fish. When thousands of fish species arose, then the first vertebrate land animal made its leap ashore. Amphibians took a breath of fresh air and colonized the empty continent of Gondwana. This was the start of the age of amphibians. The Paleozoic era ended with the largest extinction in Earth's history. The Permian-Triassic extinction vanquished 96% of all marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species. The Mesozoic Era When the Earth's climate became hotter and drier, rainforests collapsed, triggering the age of reptiles. Reptiles are different from amphibians. They lay their hard-shelled eggs on land. They essentially adapted to the land by cutting all ties with the ocean. Because reptiles evolved to dry land conditions, they gained a unique ecological advantage. As conditions changed, terrible lizards or dinosaurs began to evolve. Also notable is that Pangaea existed as one supercontinent in this era. Don't forget that dinosaurs existed for 160 million years, so continental drift gradually rifted dinosaurs apart. We know this because we can find the same fossils on separate continents. The Cenozoic Era Ultimately, the start of the Cenozoic Era was the demise of the dinosaurs. I should probably clear this up. The extinction happened because of an asteroid and not because of Thanos. Anyways, then came the age of mammals. When dinosaurs roamed the Earth, mammals remained small and furry. And because dinosaurs went extinct, mammals emerged as the largest land animals at this time. As the timeline to modern human evolution begins, hominids were the early proto-humans. They were known for sharpening objects with silicon rocks. They began to master the use of their hands and fingers. The Stone Age, early humans had fire under control. This enabled them to cook their own food, giving them more calories. Modern humans learned to make more complex sounds and share information in groups. 
so humans have only existed for about 0.004% of the age of the Earth. That's really tiny. <laughs>